Sunday nights, I lie in bed awake, as all teachers do, and wait for sleep to come, as though sleep were the last student in my class to arrive. My grading is done, my lesson plans are in order, and still sleep wanders the hallways like lower school music. I'm a teacher, this is what I do. Like a builder builds, or a sculptor sculpts, a preacher preaches, and a teacher teaches. We are experts in the art of explanation. I know the difference between the questions to answer and the ones to ask. That's an excellent question. What do you think? If two boys are fighting, I break it up. But if two girls are fighting, I wait until that shit's over, and then I drag what's left to the nurse's office. I'm not your mother, or your father, or your jailer, or your torturer, or your biggest fan in the whole wide world, even though sometimes I act like all of these things. I know you can do these things that I make you do. That's why I make you do them. I'm a teacher, and that's what we do. Once in a restaurant, when the waiter said, can I bring you anything else? And I said, no, thank you, just the check, please. And he said, how about a look at the dessert menu? I knew I had become a teacher when I said, what did I just say? <laughs> please don't make me repeat myself. In the quiet hours of the dawn, I write my assignment sheets, and then I print them without spell checking them. Because I'm a teacher, and teachers don't make spelling mistakes, do we? So as a matter of fact, the new school dress card will affect all members of the 5th, 6th, and 78th grades. And if you need an extension on your essays examining the pubic wars from a hysterical perspective, you may have only until April 300th. I hope that's not a problem for anybody. I like to lecture on love. I like to speak on responsibility. At the drop of a hat, I will talk about honor and integrity and the importance of telling the truth always. And when my students say, Mr. Molly, are we going to be responsible for this? I say, if not you, then who? You think my generation's going to be responsible for this? We're the ones who got you into this mess. Now you are our only hope. And when they say, what we meant, Mr. Molly, is are we going to be tested on this? I say, every single day of your lives. <laughs> Once. While she was digging in her backpack for a pen, I put on the desk of a student a pen, but she didn't see me do it. So when I crossed to the other side of the classroom and she raised her hand, still not seeing the pen I had put on her desk, and said, Mr. Molly, do you mind if I borrow a pen from you? I went, You already possess everything you require to succeed including a pen. <laughs> For a second, she still did not see the pen I had put on her desk, but said instead, Mr. Molly, you are probably the weirdest teacher I have ever had. Could I please just borrow a... Oh, my God! <laughs> You're a miracle worker. How did you do that? And I wanted to say all I did was give you what I knew you needed. So thank you for the compliment, but education is the miracle. I'm just the worker. I'm a teacher, and that's what we do. Thank you.